Hey there, everybody. Gary from Constricted and Addicted. And today, we're going to learn a little bit about the Hog Island Boa Constrictor. Uh, the Hog Island Boa Constrictor is absolutely, I'll say it again, one of my favorite boa constrictors. Uh, this is a Drestia. I've had a Drestia for, oh, probably close to going on a year now I've had her. She's a dwarf locality boa constrictor, which means that, uh, again, if you were to take her ancestry back to her origins, uh, somewhere along the line, her lineage came from the Hog Islands off of the coast of Honduras. And um, nowhere along the line has she been bred into any other breed of boa constrictor. So I myself had to know where the hog islands are because it's not like i knew about the hog islands and then decided to get a hog island boa uh actually i have a friend of mine who turned me on to the hog island boas plus i watch a lot of brian's boas on youtube and he's a big fan of locality boa constrictors so he's got these key boas which are like the crawl key boas the caulker key boas the hog island boas they're all boa constrictors that are located off the coast of Honduras. And when when I say off the coast of Honduras, this is uh, pretty amazing because when you see where they're located, let, let me show you. So I hope this comes up. Uh, this is Google Earth. And let me uh, get addressed to you kind of, she, she loves to wrap. She loves to just uh, hang on and go. So this is uh, Google Earth, obviously, and Here's the United States history lesson for the day, or ge geography lesson for the day. Uh, we've got Adrestia being very, very inquisitive. The United States, we have Mexico, we have Central America, we have South America. So right here we've got a little pin drop because I've already searched off the Hog Islands of Central America. And they are right here. So this right here is the Hog Islands. Now, this boa constrictor is native to those islands which are right off the coast of Honduras. So let's go back here and just to give an idea of how far that island mass is off of, let's go right here because that's 39,000 feet. So that's just under 10 miles, probably eight miles or so. Eight or nine miles. You go over here where the populace is, it's 55,000 feet or it's over 10 miles. So you got 10 miles of ocean water that separates the coast of Honduras from the Hog Islands. So the food source for this boa constrictor is limited. Uh, they don't have the same amount of food supply as they do, say, on the mainland if they were in uh, Central America. So this is why they are considered to be dwarf boa constrictors, and they get to be a max of about six feet long. I'm sure there are um, hog islands in captivity that have been uh, bred and they get bigger than six feet long. But uh, the way that I understand it is that I, it's up to me to represent and keep the, uh, the, food, the food the way it would get it in the wild. So Adrestia gets fed two times a month, which is once every two weeks. And she gets fed no bigger prey item than that size of her body right there. So when I got her... She, she is doubled in size. When I got her, she was she was half this size. And she has just grown and grown and grown. And she is probably just, I mean, one of the most inquisitive boa constrictors that I have. Uh, she loves to be out. I mean, when I have her out like this, she does not want to go back into her, her bin. Uh, she kind of fights me to go back in. She's beautiful. So let me give you some uh, 
colors of her. She's just got so much pink in her sides. And her head, she's got like, to me, she's got the head of a pit bull, almost short and stubby. And let me see if I can, there you go, there you go. She's just so, so active and uh, active, yeah. So this is a Drestia. She is probably getting close to about a year old, I think now. Um, she's roughly two and a half feet long, maybe. She's got some good size to her. She's uh, got some good girth to her. She's got some beautiful color to her. Um, and again, she's a locality boa constrictor uh, from the Hog Islands off of the coast of Honduras. So uh, this isn't going to be a very long video. This is just going to be a, you know, I wanted to show off her. I don't normally bring her out into my videos. Uh, definitely going to be bringing more of my locality boa constrictors into uh, um, some more videos. As you can see, she's, I mean, she looks like a boa, any typical boa constrictor. She's got the same, you know, face structure, body structure. Uh, I mean, she's a typical boa constrictor, but what makes her different, obviously, is is where she comes from, uh, her size, because she, it's up to me, but she won't get probably any more than six feet. She's got, uh, her color patterns are just amazing. Uh, she's got these uh, very natural brownish tones with pink on the sides, and just look at her. She is just almost like content in a way. She's done her... Uh, moving around and she's just got to a point now where she wants to relax and and perch basically and uh, you know we miss miss Nomer, a red tail boa constrictor which she's not she is a boa imperator and as you can see she's got saddles on her tail but she is not a red tail boa so anyways this is the Drestia. I want to bring her out you know, I've told you guys I'm in a band. I think I told you guys I'm in a band. So half of what I've been doing today, tonight, is actually writing music. So uh, check this out. I'll share this with you real quick. Uh, if you want to check my band out, my band is Navian. We're on Facebook, Instagram. You can go to www.navian, N-I-V-I-A-N-E. If you like metal, check us out. And uh, give you a little taste of something that I've been working on tonight. And uh, here we go. Check this out. I love my snakes. I love my boa constrictors. And, uh, you know, I love sharing with you, with you guys. So uh, until the next video, we'll uh, maybe do my uh, Tamalapis Cloud Forest Boa from uh, the Rainforest of Mexico in the next video. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.